Wow. Greetings from wherever you wherever you are watching me. This is Erastas Talk Show. I'm your host, Mirity Erastas. Uh, this is a show where we talk. And even after watching this, leave a comment in the comment section for the compliment, for the complaint, and also for the correction. This is where we talk. We encourage each other. We show each other the way. We we encourage, we put courage to the people who've, who have lacked courage to walk towards their journey to success, towards their journey to greatness. Because every Monday as a journey, every Monday as a life to live, every Monday as, as, a, as a destiny to attain, every Monday as a future to reach. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, even after watching this, remember to subscribe, like, and even after you have watched, remember to comment and also like this, this talk. Uh, tonight we are asking ourselves, we are asking ourselves about the journey to where we are walking to. The journey to where we are supposed to be. Because everybody created by God has a journey. Everybody created by God has a journey. You have a future to attain. And I want to tell you there is nobody who was created that has a small future. There is nobody whom God created as a, as a small destiny. There is a destiny that you have. There is a future that you have to attain that is so big. But my question is to is 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 this between where you are and where you are supposed to be, what is in between? Between where you are and where you are supposed to be, what is in between? It's, it, is it that the journey of life is so smooth? Is it that, uh, that uh, the journey of life is, is so smooth that, uh, that, that you just woke up today and tomorrow you meet yourself in the future, having everything that you want in life and the everything that you needed but therefore here tonight i'm here to tell somebody that is feeling like there is a delay that is feeling like there is something that is not working that is feeling that there is something that is not moving towards the direction that he or she wants that is feeling like a the journey of life is full of so much struggles, too, so much problems. But inside this, this talk, we are going to, sh to, to deal with that problem. We are going to, to, to dig deep and see if there is a problem to solve, if there is a way to follow, if there is a problem to endure, if there is a circumstance and also, and if there is a condition to attain and if there is there is then we are going to encourage each other even though there is a tough time knowing there is a better tomorrow and therefore i will begin by telling somebody that uh, in the journey of life is never smooth between where you are and where you are going to is a journey between where you are and where you are going to is a process and therefore in between where you are and where you are going you are not going to be to meet everything that that you wanted you are not going to attain every that you wanted not every day you wake up and you meet your life your life is is in the position you wanted and therefore there is there, there are things to meet and therefore let me tell you ladies and gentlemen between where you are and where you're going in the journey of life you are going to meet haters in the journey of life you're going to meet betrayers in the journey of life there are problems in the journey of life there are frustrations in the journey of life there are so many things that does not produce our happiness there are so many things that does not uh, that does not, does not make us to live the comfortable life that we want. And there are so many things that we face that does not put us in the position whereby we wanted us to be in the journey of life. And therefore, in the journey of life, is there is there are things to do, there are things to enjoy. There are some moments that you're going to enjoy. There are some moments that you're going to say, surely, in this one, I saw God. In this one, surely, it has worked. But there are some times that you're going to see like something did it come something did it come as i wanted something did this did it happen as i wanted without much ado let me tell you that um, the value therefore what will make you value where you are going 
My question tonight is, what will make you value where you are going? What will make you value where you are going more than the process you followed, more than the journey you took, more than the beginning where you came from? What will make you therefore value where you are, you are going and where you are, you are, your future is or where you, the, your destiny, the, where, or therefore where your destiny is? Let me tell you, therefore, the value of your destination, therefore, is determined by the process it took and the experience you got while traveling. Therefore, I, I, tonight I don't want to talk to a person who has reached. Tonight I don't want to talk to a person, to a youth of my time. This is a talk that I'm bringing to youths, specifically to youths, to specifically, spe specifically to a person who is feeling like maybe I've reached 40, I've reached 50, I've reached maybe of the, or whatever the years, but, the, but the, the, my life has been stagnated in a way. I've faced problems in a certain dimension. I've reached somewhere and therefore I feel like uh, nothing is working and therefore I don't want to talk to a person who, has, who is saying therefore I've reached and I have everything that I wanted. I want to speak to a person who is saying always saying i've not reached but i'm traveling i've not reached but i'm traveling and every Monday that is watching me i want to tell you you've not reached yet you are traveling you are traveling this is a talk that is going to give a courage to you towards your traveling journey that is going to empower you to put a new engine to you to put a new energy to you to give you more motivation towards your traveling journey and therefore you have seen the value of your destination the value of your future, the value of you traveling and getting the kind of business you want, the value of you working day and night and getting you the kind of car you want, the value of you working day and night and getting and building the company you wanted, the value of you working day and night and building those commercial properties uh, and the uh, building those commercial properties in the city, in the villages as you wanted, what will make you therefore enjoy what will put you or what will put the value of your destination, what will put value on the things that you have attained to once your journey to greatness is therefore the experience you got while traveling and the process it took. And therefore let me tell you somebody that um, let me tell somebody that uh, therefore the problems you are facing or therefore the problems you faced before, therefore even though you have reached the problem you faced or therefore as you are traveling, the problems you are facing today, the problems like divorce, maybe you feel like uh, you are divorced, you are not lost in town, God has not lost your address yet, uh, let me encourage somebody there, even though therefore failure has become your name in the city even though therefore failure has become your pos your portion in the village maybe when you start a marriage it feels when you start a, a relationship it feels when you start a business therefore it breaks down and it feels when uh, you just go therefore and start somewhere in the family separation becomes therefore it's like maybe it is named you maybe your name your name becomes like a, it is the one that is called the separation no relation that is no relationship that is working let me tell you somebody even though financial struggles seems like uh, maybe stra financial struggle seems like maybe it's your portion of life uh, maybe when you try to attain something you are limited because of lack of finances uh, i want to tell somebody Therefore, those are the experiences towards your travel journey. Those are the experiences you get towards your travel journey. Maybe somebody, if you are not separated in that relationship, you will not get the kind of the man you wanted. Haha. <laughs> maybe somebody, if you did it, caught maybe divorced to the man, you could have died. You could be the person will be seen on the TV or, or on our televisions, on our social media platforms. Maybe having been killed by that man uh, gets me tonight. Maybe, maybe, maybe somewhere if you like, if you did it like money that time, maybe at this time we could be having you. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody if that problem did it get you on the way, you couldn't get the journey, you couldn't get therefore the, the, the courage. Maybe, maybe, maybe if maybe you did it 
cry towards your journey to traveling, you couldn't hold on when you reached at a time whereby you caught something that you wanted and you hold with a something with value that, that you say, even if earth comes down or goes up, I will not lose this thing that therefore I have gotten through this struggle. This thing that made me cry at one time, at one point of time. This thing that made me lose, made me break down. This thing that made me, that made me break my heart. This, this thing, this thing, this thing that lost you so much of my energy. I will not make it again, I will not lose it no matter what. Maybe, maybe if those problems didn't happen, today, today, as you have attained that business, you couldn't get the energy to keep it even when losses becomes a portion at one time or point. Maybe if the, the, the things, maybe if the losses didn't happen the, the, in your business and you survive, even when COVID-19 came and it hit your business, you couldn't start in that, start in that business again. You could have closed and gone home but because you knew there are some point i faced loss there are some point i i i i, I had nothing there is some point I, I this business was like breaking down but something came on the way and it was sustained therefore god sustained our own in this god again even when during covid 19 that is what meant you did that is what meant you not close your business during covid 19 Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? And therefore, if I'm speaking to you, kindly uh, uh, comment, kindly comment, kindly comment and share. Let this broadcast reach so many people. Let this broadcast reach so many people. Let us, let us reach so many people. Let us break the kind of the depression that is in the city. Let us break the kind of depression in Africa. Let us break the kind of the depression that is in this country. That, that people are seeing like problems are coming to break them down, that problems are coming to tear them up. Let's break this kind of notion that people are seeing like, if problems has happened today, what I can do is to lose hope. Let us make people know, losing hope, losing hope is the solution to any impossibility of life. Losing hope is not a solution to any impossibility of life. And therefore, losing hope, losing hope in life is the termination of your destiny. Losing hope in life is giving devil a credit to celebrate your life in failure. You losing hope in life is making devil to celebrate your failure. You do not have to lose hope. You do not have to lose hope. You do not have to lose so what you have to do is to have courage to travel towards your journey to greatness. I have told you in your journey to greatness, it's never smooth. When your traveling is never smooth. When your traveling is never smooth. And therefore what I'm telling you, when you're traveling, there are bumps on the, way, on the way. Come on, let me speak to you, my brother, my sister. When you're traveling, there are bumps on the way. When you're on your journey to attaining your master's, your degree, there are bumps on the way. Losing of... of, of of school fees is one of the challenges that one should not make you lose of them. That one should not make you lose of them. That one should not make you lose of them. Therefore, what you should not be be intimidated of is the success of other people because we are in a time whereby you finish school with a certain person and therefore they are so maybe they prospered they prospered so well you did it prosper God for pain and maybe you are seeing your life maybe it's a somehow stagnated what you should not be worried for is their progress because you don't know the journey they took with them to have whatever they having oh come on praise the Lord what you should not what you should not be worried for is their, their progress because you don't know their journey. Therefore, the question that is in my mind tonight, this day is, the, the question that is in my mind is, is, or tonight, according to your time zone, is, what's the process to your world? What's the process to your world? My friend, stop being intimidated by the worth of people. Stop being intimidated by the worth of people. Stop being intimidated by the pro by by the 
progress of people. Stop being intimidated by the riches of the people. But therefore, your condition should be what the process did they take to have whatever they have? What process did they take to have whatever they have? Get to know the process to their worth journey. Get to know the process of their worth journey before getting into depression and getting into stress and cursing God all the way like the you did it bless me like my my friend that you did it bless me like my relative you did it bless me like my brother therefore get to know the process of the jan of the of the journey or the process of the journey during their traveling to what they have, during to the attaining of the what they have, during to the attaining of their world. Therefore, don't accept anybody, anything, anybody telling you about their world. Remember, remember what you should know is how did they survive? My question is, my question is not my is. How did that person that is so powerful today, how did they survive when everything was not working? How did they survive when loss was horrible? How did they survive when divorce was or was or was a talk of the day in their marriage? How did they reach that years in marriage when nothing was working? How did they survive when they were separating each and every day and today they are 20 years in marriage? How did they survive when, um, when they were traveling and they, there was nothing like to pay school fees but they managed to, to attain a master's degree or maybe a PhD? My question is, how did they survive? How did they survive? That is what I'm asking. How did they survive? That I am saying that is the process that they took. Therefore, what you should do is how you are going to survive is is you only on on God, understanding that God created you with a purpose, understanding that God created you with a past as a person who has a tomorrow. You may have faced everything today until you have exhausted everything. You may have passed every problem today until you have. You have exhausted all problems of the world. You may have passed every condition, every kind of frustrations of life until you have exhausted, until you have exhausted every any other frustration that may have happened. But I am telling you that one that one does not give you a credit to lose so. That one does not give you a credit to lose hope. What you should do, it's own thing on with God. Soon I will be sharing to you biblically why I know God will bless you. Why I know God will, will, will manifest in your life. Though even if you don't see him, trust God even when it, 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 it is not making sense. I'm telling somebody tonight, trust God even when trusting God is not making sense. Trust God even when trusting God is not making sense. Trust God even when trusting God is not making sense. No God as your tomorrow. What I know is God created you to have a better tomorrow. God created you to have a better tomorrow. If yesterday passed, God did it create you to have a better yesterday, somebody. God did it create you to have a better yesterday. God created you to have a better tomorrow. I'm better 2022. I'm better December 2021. I'm better December 2019. You will see it. You're not dying in that situation. Maybe today sickness is your area of, of, of suffering. Maybe today loss is your area of suffering due to COVID-19. But I want to tell you, trust in God that your business will stand and you see yourself again at the top. Trust God again for your tomorrow. What I'm telling you is, is you have a journey to travel. My conclusion comes here. You have a journey to take. You have a process. There is an experience in your journey to greatness. There is an experience in your journey to greatness. Your journey to greatness, your journey to your destiny is not smooth. It has problems. It has bouts. It has any kind of the things that you may have faced in life. But don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. I'm telling you there is a day for you. There is a day for you. And therefore be sure your future is great. Your, your destiny is great. Your future is sure. And therefore remember, even as you watch to subscribe in a Rasta Talk Show, I will be 
you are host every day when you see me on Facebook, on, on, on YouTube, subscribe, like, share, and comment. I am your host, Merit Erastus. I will be coming to your, to your screen again with asking us, asking myself, what a generation? Asking myself, what a generation? Should everything happen in a night? Should I wake up today and tomorrow I have everything that I wanted? We will know that in, in our next episode. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned in a Rastas talk show. I'm your host, Meriti Rastas. This is the number one motivation gospel channel in Africa. Be blessed. Make us number one. Thank you.